morning from Chris and Dee's home. It's not actually morning, it's the middle of the afternoon. And um, what can I tell you? I like proverbs. So there's roughly 30 days in the month and roughly 30 proverbs, chapters of proverbs. So it's good to read the chapter of proverbs that's related to the day of the month. That way you go to sleep reading God's wisdom. Another book I like about Proverbs is this one. This is a, um, a verse a day and it lasts an entire year. So I'm going to turn to a very special date, which is August the 26th. And this is what my wisdom of Proverbs says for August the 26th. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit forever and it's just started training <laughs> but I'm going to try and continue that's the um, the verse the book also gives um, a little story Pilate looked out over the crowds of people so it had come to pass people who usually had no use for him were now coming to him looking for him to pass judgment on one of their own it was exhilarating to have such power. With a word he could bestow life or death. The Nazarene seemed totally unimpressed by his power, but the crowds knew better. They knew that his word was law. No matter how many times he called upon to pronounce sentence, he still grew tense with excitement. This was power and he loved it. There is power in our words. Our tongues are like two-edged swords. They can protect and defend. They can cut down and destroy. We are in control of them. Sadly, many people act as if it was the other way around, that their tongues control their minds. As Christians, it is vital that we learn to control our tongues. James compares the tongue to a rudder. When a rudder is left untended, the ship flounders. Likewise, when our tongues are uncontrolled, the result is disaster. A wise person keeps a firm control over his or her words. Only words of life and light should be spoken. And with God's help, we can hope to always have such graceful speech. It's really starting to rain now. There's a prayer you say at the end of your reading, and it's this. O oh Lord, take control of the rudder and steer this humble ve vessel. Use the words of my mouth to minister to the needs of others. Let the will of my heart always precede the words of my mouth. I like being compared to a vessel, a ship. A ship lays safe when it's in the harbour, but ships aren't meant to lay safe in the harbour. They're meant to sail. <laughs> it's pouring down. <laughs> and it's true to say, every sailor will tell you a smooth sea never made a good sailor maybe that's why the trials of life come along and storms we face because that makes a good christian when we go through them and come out the other side so have a good day